So you just went out and bought a G-Shock from Casio. Unfortunately, it came with this lovely user guide. It's not complicated, but everyone wants something easy and they want to watch a video about how to change the date and time. So welcome to Chainsaw Watch Review, where I'm going to show you how to change the date and time on the Casio G-Shock. Starting off, you'll have, just for future reference, you have buttons A, B, C, and D. It's not labeled A, B, C, and D, but the manual guide actually sh mentions A, B, C, D. But also, again, it just makes it easier for future. So first and foremost, you'll press and hold the A button until you'll see it moves. <laughs> um, starting off to set your own time zone, you will press B and D. B to go up, so or the light switch to go up and down. And then D to go down. I'm actually in the New York uh, City time zone, so I'll just leave it at that. To move forward now, you'll press B. Sorry, A, B, you'll press C. So C is the mode. This here means daylight saving times, whether you want it on or off. So you just toggle with the up and down buttons. Here, you, if you want to go 12 hours or 24 hour settings, to make it easier, and I'll show you that later on. And here it is, is where you set the time and date. So right now it's 11.51 uh, a.m. But if I want to reset it, just again, just the seconds, I'll just push start or the D button. If I now I'm gonna cycle through, I just push uh, button C and I'm in the hour position. Now the B button goes down and the D button goes up. And then now you can set the minutes. And then you'll go the year. So whatever year you want to go. So again, buttons B and D are that function to go up and down. The date itself, so it's May 19th. So again, up and down. There's the 20th, the 19th, and the 20th. And then if you want to go your keynote, you have it mute. So that means every time you press a button, you hear the beeps or no beeps. The light, so this is quite important here. This is where you get the light feature. So when you're out of this mode, it's when you press the light, how many seconds does it stay on? I like it at three seconds. So you change that between one, two, and three. So that's three, two, well, it's three and one. Oh, just three and one. I oh, thought I had two seconds. Never mind. You have either one second or three seconds. And then it goes back to which your time zone. So when you're, once you're completed, to actually lock in your adjustments, you'll just press the A button and they'll be like that. So now, just for future, I'm going to set it for 450, for example. So press and hold the adjust button. So you hear that beep. Now, now you're going to go and hit your C button. So now you're going to go hit your D button. So if you look there, that small P means it's PM. So 449 to make it easier. And then now you can hit the adjust just to get out of it. Now your watch is simply going to go to the time that you set it at on analog to the time, which is 449. And then it stops there, which is absolutely awesome. So now, as I mentioned for the light, so if I press the light button, like I said, it's three seconds. This will then stay on for three seconds. So now I want to adjust it back. So oh wait, sorry, I'll just go and do the 24 hours. So press and hold the adjust. So what it's doing, it's moving out of the way. So therefore I'm able to see the digital screen. So again, now you can hit the mode or C button. So now it's 12 hours. I'm going to set it to 24 hours. So now 12 and four, you should say 1649 or 1650. 
and then I'm gonna hit the adjust or the A button to lock in it, the settings, and then there you go. So now you know it's 1650 in 24 hours or military time. But once again, what it's doing, it's just adjusting to 450. And then once again, to adjust it back, press and hold. And again, I like the fact that it just does it. <laughs> so I can hit the C button or the mode, toggle out of that. So make it 24 hours or sorry, 12 hours. I'm just used to it. And then the time right now is 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna go back to 12 p.m. So I just went there. And now to switch it for minutes, you hit the C button. And I'll just go up, maybe it goes faster that way. There you go. And now you can hit the adjust button to lock it in. And again, it just does it, which is awesome. So now, for example, I'm going to just change the date. And then now you're going to see where on here you have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So over here, I'm just going to change the date for tomorrow. So it'll be Monday. Oh, let's go a little bit further. Let's go further out. Let's pick a random day and a random year. So again... So let's say, let's go in the future. 2029, let's call it February. Nah, 21st. Oh, one thing I just noticed just now is that it knows that it's February and it's not, it knows it's not a leap year. So it goes, it doesn't give you 31 days, but it gives you 28 days. So I'll do February 25th. I'm gonna lock that in. And apparently it's a Sunday, <laughs> which is weird. I thought it'll actually change. I gotta verify that. Huh, that is new and different. So right now in Mexico, for example, it's 10 a.m. Anyways, to make it simple, that is how you set the date and time. Thank you for watching. Take care.